In this lecture, I will tell you how to quick check item ledger entries and what kind of inter information you can find there. We will also take a look at the most popular and most advanced item and inventory reports available in the system. So let's start from items. You can go to item ledger entries by using the shortcut Ctrl F7. Standing on the item, system will open your item ledger entries. You can also find it in, in search item ledger entries. It will also open the full list of item ledger entries. But, but let, let's come back to our FIFO item and go with Ctrl F7. In here, you can find some details about operations connected with this item. So we have posting date and entry type. In entry type, you can find sale, purchase or entries connected with manufacturing or inventory adjustments. In document type, you will find kind of document connected with entry type. We will have also document number and item number. Location code gives you information about the location connected with the entry. In quantity, you will find source quantity. In invoiced quantity, you will have invoice that was touched by the quantity touched by the invoice. So if we if you use, for example, purchase orders, if you post just a receipt, you will have invoice quantity of zero. When you post an invoice, your invoice quantity will be the same as quantity. This is the fastest way to check if we have all the purchases and sales invoiced. In remaining quantity, system keeps the remaining quantity for each entry. So, so if we have purchase entry with quantity of 10, in remaining quantity we have five, so that means that that's five left. And the same information is the column open when it's true we have some remaining quantity on this entry you can check also two amounts columns in item ledger entries we have sales amount actual and cost amount actual in here you have connected your value entries so these are the entries directly connected with our gl entries so we have now the columns cost posted to GL. This field is only a sum of those entries. And in cost amount, we have all costs. In sales amount, when we have sale document, we have our sales amount. If you want to analyze more than one item, you simply use clear filter function then system is deleting all the filters on item ledger entries and now you are able to set your filters as you wish so for example if you need to have information about purchases on yellow location you just set the filters so now we have all the purchases for the yellow locations. 